Good afternoon. We are getting ready to start cooking dinner. I've already got part of it started just to, for time's sake, but wanted to say, hey, I'm excited to be here tonight. Tonight, we are making some red lentil tacos. And I have, gosh, a little bit left, actually. I already have my one cup of lentils already rinsed over here. They're waiting to be added to the pan here in just a minute. So on the pan right now, I've got some olive oil. I have some onions and green bell pepper just kind of cooking right now. Uh, I figured I would get that going at right now just so it's ready for us. So let's see, we've got Amanda is here, Tanya is here, Kendra, Amy, Maria, and Carrie, and Ella. We have a lot of friends tonight. That is awesome. So this is really like a simple dinner. I've got the link in the description, I think, but all you do is just cook up the peppers and onion, and then you add all the sorts of seasonings, lentils, water, and then you cook it for like 15 minutes, and it is done. So I, I can't... Oh yeah, I bought these lentils like a few months ago because I made a red lentil and sweet potato stew out of it. And I wasn't quite sure about the lentils. I think maybe I cooked them a little bit too long um, because they were really mushy. And I'm not sure if red lentils are supposed to be a lot softer than green lentils. So um, tell me, have you cooked with red lentils? And if so, is it actually a lot softer? And does it cook a lot faster than green lentils? I kind of feel like it does. So we'll have to see. I've got the peppers and onions are still kind of cooking. I'll give them another minute or so. Got Susan's here, Laura's here, Crystal, Tawana, Mary, Donna. So yeah, Susan, Allison's over here kind of playing with her tablet right now. She might make an appearance here soon. I am not sure. Um, she had a ton of fun at school today. Um, yesterday was St. Patrick's Day, so um, Wednesdays are online only for her school right now. So they weren't able to do like all the fun St. Patrick's Day stuff yesterday. But I guess a leprechaun came in today was handing out chocolate coins and read a story to them. So that was pretty fun. So let me grab this. I think that's good. And then uh, following the recipe, all we have to do is add some garlic to this. Let that cook for another minute, and then we'll add the other stuff to it. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, well, hello there. <laughs> all right. She nearly fell, but we're good. All right, so we'll let the garlic cook for just another second. And then we'll add all the other stuff, let it cook. I'll chop up some vegetables, we'll chat, we'll have a good time. Oh gosh, Joel, you're here too. First time live watcher, that's awesome, thank you. We've got Meowie Jane, Kent, yep. Thank you so much, that's awesome. All right, so it's really just, it's simple tacos. I don't really have any sides to go with it, but I chopped up some lettuce. I'm gonna chop up some tomatoes here in a little bit. I've got some tortillas. These ones look really good. These are the Mission brand soft, uh, fajita size flour tortillas and I think this was a substitution because I wanted a great value brand but these feel like really soft it's gonna be awesome so that looks pretty good now I'll go ahead and add the lentils so with lentils you have to rinse them off you have to kind of peek through and make sure there's no rocks or anything in them uh, it happens a lot with beans actually so this is already rinsed I'll toss that on there and then we'll add the water and I believe the recipe says we need to add like one or two packets of taco seasoning but I don't usually keep taco seasoning packets in my house so I'm just going to use a bunch of onion powder and garlic powder I've got some cumin and chili powder and then a bunch of salt and pepper and that should be good so I'm actually going to turn the heat up a little bit because we want that to come to a boil. And then it's going to cook for like 15 or 10 or 15 minutes, I think. So we'll just add a ton of that. 
I like my food to be a little bit on the spicy side. All right, and then a bunch of cumin. I mean, sometimes it doesn't come out very well. All right, there we go. So we'll give that a good stir. Why did my lentils clump together? All right, let's try to scrape them all off real quick. All right, there we go. They're breaking apart now. All right, so we'll stir that. We'll let it come to a boil. And then 15 minutes later, dinner should be done. All right, so what do you guys like to serve with your tacos? I usually make like Mexican Spanish rice, but I figured since the lentils are higher in carbs and we have tortillas to go with it, I didn't really want to make rice to go with it. Now, if I were making like chicken tacos or something, I would probably go ahead and make rice. But for now, I think I might actually turn mine into a salad because I've got a huge container of lettuce. So I'll still eat the tortillas with it too, but I just might, I got a little bowl here. I'm gonna fill it with lettuce and then all the other stuff. And then I'll probably just like scoop some out into the taco shells and eat it like that. Sounds like a pretty good idea. And I actually talked about that on uh, my Facebook page today, I think it was, talking about salads and how salads are, the, you can basically turn anything into a salad. So I had, um, well, it was like a Mexican burrito bowl, I think it was. There was black beans and sweet potatoes and some quinoa. And I just threw that on a bed of lettuce. And that was my lunch or my dinner was just like a salad. So you can add basically anything to a salad, like um, all sorts of the proteins, chicken, um, beans, um, hard boiled eggs. You can add all sorts of carbs to your salad. People kind of look at me weird when I say that I put sweet potatoes in my salad or like even quinoa or rice, but seriously, that goes amazing in salads. It helps, oh, it's got plenty of fiber in it. It has some protein in it, so it'll help you feel full longer. And then any kind of healthy fats. So I will add like sunflower seeds to mine. I'll add um, like shredded cheese. I'll add, oh gosh, uh, sometimes some guacamole or avocado. Like honestly, I don't really use salad dressings very much in my homemade salads. I will, <laughs> okay, this might be kind of weird, but I use hot sauce as salad dressing sometimes. Does anybody else use uh, hot sauce in their salad? Like, if, if I use that, then seriously, it, I just don't need salad dressing if I use hot sauce. Maybe that's kind of weird, but yes. All right, let me stir this real quick. I need to cover this and then let that cook. That's looking pretty good. There we go. All right. Watergate salad. What is Watergate salad? I've never heard of that. That sounds pretty interesting. Um, yes, this is a really good vegetarian meal. Um, you could call it vegan, but I am adding some sour cream and cheese, so that will not make it vegan. That will just make it vegetarian. Um, homemade yellow rice, so you mix the black beans, rotel, and corn together. That sounds really good. You buy a big block of great value cheese, uh, two cans of rotel tomato tomatoes, and melt it. It was a perfect queso de holy cow. Mexican rice, buffalo sauce on the salad, yeah. Okay, yeah, skinny girl dressings, I've heard those are good. I also really like the Bolt House Farms dressing, and I don't know if you have ever had that brand or not, but I love it. It's like a yogurt-based salad dressing. Um, two tablespoons are like 40, 45 calories. They make a ranch. Um, they have blue cheese. I think my favorite of the Bolt House Farms is the cilantro avocado. Like their dressing right there is amazing. I think I still have a little bit in the fridge, actually. I might add some to this. I don't know yet. Homemade, make a honey mustard dressing. Yeah, or a salsa. Yeah, homemade salsa. That is really good, too. I don't make my own salsa very often, but when I do, it is really, really good. All right, so, all right, here's another question. 
What do you like to add to your tacos? Um, I typically do like the lettuce, tomatoes, I'll add bell peppers. I already got that in there. And then I was never really a huge fan of sour cream. And then I started eating it again recently and I don't know what it is, but I just love sour cream. And then there's cheese. I actually, probably a few months ago, just bought some queso fresco, like the, the big like circle thing that's like, it's crumbly cheese. And that stuff is really, really good. I didn't realize that this existed until just recently actually. So that's really good too. And then I buy the little guacamole cups from Aldi. Um, I'm the only person in my house that eats guacamole, so I figure if I buy the, the little cups, it won't go bad because I don't use a whole lot at a time. If I buy like a big bag of it, it's going to go kind of brown. And I don't like to eat it very much when it's brown. Let me turn this down a little bit. I'll probably cook for, I don't know, 10-ish minutes or so. Avocado, yes, avocado is really good. Greek god yogurt with your favorite salsa. You know, yes. Um, mixing together Greek yogurt and salsa, that really does make a good salad dressing. I've tried that a few times and that's really good. I've also done Greek yogurt and hot sauce together and that is also really, really good. Oh gosh. I, I'm all about the spicy. Alright. That's going. So lentils actually are a really good source of vegetarian protein. One cup of lentils has, uh, let's see, 230 calories, around about 18 grams of protein and 15 grams of fiber. And the recommended daily amount of fiber you should get per day, it varies, but it's anywhere between like 25 and 40 grams. So one cup of lentils will get you like halfway there. Oh my goodness. So yes, lentils are amazing. Um, beans are pretty much the same way. They have about the same uh, nutrition info. Um, I think lentils tend to have slightly more protein. And just to compare it with chicken, let me think. Four ounces of chicken has like 180 calories and 40 grams of protein. So yeah, animal-based protein or animal-based foods have more protein than plant-based foods, but still lentils is an excellent source of protein there. All right, this is the last tomato. So let me stir the lentils one more time. Okay, that's cooking up quite nicely, actually. That's awesome. It's still very liquidous, but I can tell that the lentils are starting to break down a little bit and get softer. So I'll need to wait a little bit longer, let it thicken up a little bit, and then it should be ready soon. Oh, man. Yeah, we had, let's see. Um... My tacos end up being mostly jalapenos. Oh yes, I've got jalapenos in the fridge. I gotta go grab some. Um, let's see. What do lentils taste like? Oh man. I mean, they're basically like beans for the most part. Um, I don't really know how to explain it uh, except that it's basically like beans. And then you can season them um, just like this, like you can season them with taco seasonings to make it kind of taste like taco meat. I've also used lentils and sloppy joes. I have a recipe for a slow cooker sloppy joe, lentil sloppy joe mix. And you just throw in some lentils and like one or two cans of crushed tomatoes, a couple of seasonings, and it is really, really good. It actually tastes like sloppy joe. How, how, do, you, how do you spout lentils? I'm not sure... I'm not really sure, maybe, oh, sprouting. Okay, yeah, tell us how to sprout lentils, okay. Got them, put them in a jar, cover up the tea towel 24 hours. All right, cool, that's awesome. Susan, you put peppers, onions, shredded cheese, sour cream, sometimes lettuce and tomatoes. I know, yeah, guacamole, it's one of those things that it goes bad, or not really bad, but it, it goes super, super fast. 
get that out of the way. Man, I had kind of an interesting morning, Allison and I did. Um, this was her first time seeing this actually, but we happened to look in the backyard and we saw a possum just kind of walking in our backyard and kind of hid in the corner. We have like a, like a stone, I don't know, with like a bush right there. A stone there. wall with a little tree. A stone wall with a little tree. So it hid behind the stone wall, okay? So I'm like, look, it's a possum, it's a possum. So we all go and look over at it. And then it came back out like less than a minute later. And then here comes another one. So here's the first one. The other one comes walking over. They touch noses and they follow each other out of the backyard and under the fence. So yeah, that was very interesting. Um, yeah, Allison had never seen a live possum before, so she was like, oh, I'm going to go to school and I'm going to tell my teacher first thing. So it's pretty awesome. Back a, back a couple years ago, I used, to, I used to run a lot, and I would go sometimes in the early morning when it was still dark outside. So I had my flashlight, and I had just started my run this particular morning, and I rounded the corner and I stopped dead because there was, I, I couldn't see what it was, it was dark, but it was like a little family of something walking across the street. There were like five or six of them just like in a nice little line and I shined my flashlight. Yeah, there were possums and like their, their eyes like shone and started staring at me. So I just kind of noped right around and went the other direction. It's pretty terrifying seeing those things early in the morning. Oh my goodness. Um, or Allison eat this? Well, it is always worth a shot. I will say that. Um, I all what whatever I make, I always put in front of her, and if she chooses to take a bite, that's fine. If not, there is always next time. But we always encourage encourage her to you know try new things uh, quite frequently. Let me grab a spoon so I can taste that real quick. And again, I'm making sushi currently. Ah, all right, let's see. Oh, oh, that was hot. Some of that just like fell onto my hand. That's not good. Ooh, must be hot. Okay, that is actually done cooking. But you know what though? I totally did not add any salt or pepper to it. That's why it doesn't taste very flavorful. So let me just add like a ton there's salt and pepper to it. And then we should be good to go. Let me add this to it. All right, let's stir that. That didn't take very long at all. That was like, what, 10, 10 minutes maybe? That wasn't too bad. So it, I believe Red lentils actually cook a little bit faster than green, just in my experience. The green lentils probably would have taken, I don't know, 20, maybe longer than 20 minutes or something. Let's see. Rachel, you got a deer on the front porch looking at you. Oh, wow. So we do sometimes get deer in this area. Not, not very frequently, but sometimes we do. And um, apparently there are foxes around here too. John has gone walking in the mornings and has seen a couple of foxes. So that was pretty interesting. Oh gosh, all right. Let's see. Found a really small frog a couple years ago. Yeah, I, you know, we had a toad in our backyard one time too. That was pretty interesting. Sue, hey from Ohio. What's up Ohio, buddy? So we have, uh, we ha I'll show, I may, I may take a picture and show you later. But we have this digital calendar up on the wall that John created using a Raspberry Pi. And it has our calendar and to-do list and things like that. But you can also have countdowns. And we have a countdown for Kings Island. It opens up in 51 days. And let me just tell you how pumped we are about it. Oh man, I cannot wait to go ride some roller coasters. I cannot wait to go eat some amazing food. It's gonna be awesome. All right, ah, let's see. All right, so let me show you two different ways that I'm gonna make my dinner. So first of all, I'm gonna make one in salad form. So I'm gonna basically fill this sucker up with a bunch of romaine lettuce. 
and we'll add some tomatoes on top there. Then we'll add some of the lentil mix. It's actually sticking to the bottom because I didn't take it completely off the burner. There we go. All right, so then we'll add. All right, so honestly, it kind of looks a little mushy, which I think was my problem with the lentil and sweet potato stew. Um, but I think maybe red lentils are just like that, or maybe I just don't know how to cook lentils. All right, so there's that. Um, and then we could add, there's no sour cream in there. We'll add some sour cream and then some cheese. And then I'll show you what it'll look like in taco form. So we'll add sour cream and then just some cheese. And I mean, I'm still gonna put this mixture in my tacos as well. I just like having, I like having a lot to eat. Um, I like to eat, in case you guys haven't noticed. All right, and then, um, I, like I said, I've got jalapenos in the fridge too, so I might actually grab some later. But here is what it looks like in a salad form with sour cream, cheese, lentil mix, and then the lettuce and tomatoes. And then if you were to add it, actually, let me, I feel like it's easier to put sour cream on the tortilla first and then put all this stuff on top. Because that way, if you spread it like that, you'll at least get a little bit of sour cream in each bite, hopefully. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. And then I'll put some of the mix in there, just like that. And then you can add some lettuce on top. You can add some tomatoes on top. The, the reason why I like to make mine in salad form is because I can control how much goes in the tortillas. Like I don't like to overstuff it. So if I have an extra bowl of something, I can fill it to how much I want and then eat the rest that's in the bowl. So then we'll add a little bit of tomatoes. And then we'll have some cheese on it. So yes, there we are. So that's what it would look like basically in taco form. So salad with the tortillas on the side, taco form. This is our dinner tonight. And yes, I am starving. I'm gonna go eat this. Red lentils are smaller, so they cook way faster than the green and brown lentils. I appreciate that info. <laughs> um, I will probably have to watch it a little bit further next time. So, yes, that is all I have for you. Red lentil tacos, everybody. The link is in the description. So feel free to go check it out, print it out, make it. Only a few ingredients. Super easy. I've got a Dollar Tree breakfast video coming out tomorrow, so make sure you all check that out. I appreciate you all coming and watching me cook dinner. It's been a lot of fun chatting with you. So I'm gonna go enjoy my dinner. You guys enjoy your evening. I will see you all later.